why this is the scariest black hole ever discovered. Many of you might have heard about black holes, and in today's video we will be discussing more about black holes and the scariest black hole ever discovered by NASA. In space, a black hole is a region where gravity is so strong that even light cannot escape. Hello science lovers, and welcome back to Salty Space. The wonders of space never cease to astonish us, or maybe frightening is the right word for what we're going for to get into today. People cannot perceive black holes because no light escapes from them. They are undetectable. Specialized space telescopes can aid in the discovery of the black holes. How big are black holes? Well, the size of black holes can vary. The smallest black holes, according to scientists, are as small as a single atom. Supermassive black holes are the biggest ones. These black holes have a combined masses greater than 1 million suns. Sagittarius A is the name of the supermassive black hole in the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Stellar black holes are created when the core of a massive star collapses in on itself. When this occurs, a supernova results. A supernova is a star that explodes and sends a portion of the star into space. How do scientists know black holes exist if they are black? Due to black holes' enormous gravitational pull on the surrounding light, it is impossible to actually observe one. Scientists can observe stars to determine if stars are passing by or orbiting a black hole. High energy light is produced when a black hole and a star are close to one another. Human eyes cannot see this type of light. The Milky Way galaxy is thought to contain 100 million black holes, although no single black hole has ever been definitely detected by astronomers. Using a precise mass assessment of the fictitious object, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has, after six years of diligent studies, obtained direct proof for the first time ever of a lone black hole traveling through interstellar space. This is noteworthy because stellar mass black holes are typically discovered with partner stars. In Carina Sagittarius spiral arm of our galaxy, roughly 50,000 light years from Earth, is the recently discovered wandering black hole. But because of its discovery, astronomers may now speculate that the distance between Earth and the closest isolated stellar mass black hole could be as little as 80 light years. Black holes are created by rare, enormous stars that are at least 20 times more massive than our Sun and make up less than one thousandth of our stars in the galaxy. These stars detonate as supernovae, and the remaining core is drawn back into the black hole by gravity. A stray black hole doesn't emit any light, so telescopes can't capture it on camera. A black hole, on the other hand, warps space, deflecting and amplifying starlight from anything that briefly lines up perfectly behind it. Then Hubble investigates the most intriguing of these occurrences. Two teams, one led by Kailas Sahu of the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, and the other by Casey Lamb of the University of California in Berkeley, used Hubble data in their investigations. Though the teams' findings diverge significantly, they all point to the existence of a compact object. The light of the background star is suddenly bent and amplified when it passes in front of a foreground object due to the warping of space caused by the gravity of the foreground object. In the roughly 30,000 events that have been observed so far inside of our galaxy, gravitational microlensing is a phenomenon that astronomers use to analyze stars and exoplanets. Among other microlensing events, the signature of a foreground black hole stands out as distinctive. The lensing event will last for more than 200 days due to the black hole's extremely strong gravity. Additionally, if the intervening object were a foreground star, the light from the foreground and background stars would be briefly blended together, resulting in a temporary hue change in the starlight as measured. However, the black hole event did not exhibit any color shifting. The extent to which the black hole's image was deflected by the background star was then measured using Hubble. Hubble has the exceptional accuracy required for such observations. The star's image was around a milliarc second off of its normal location. That would be like measuring a 25 cent coin's diameter in Los Angeles, as seen from New York City. By using astrometric microlensing, it was possible to determine the black hole's mass, distance, and speed. So whose team determined the black hole weighs seven solar masses based on the amount of deflection caused by the severe bending of space. Given that the significantly smaller mass range reported by Lamb's team, the object might either be a neutron star or a black hole. 
According to their calculations, the unseen compact object has a mass that ranges from 1.6 to 4.4 times that of the Sun. This item would be a black hole at the end of this range and a neutron star at the lower end. We must disclose all viable options. This includes neutron stars and lower mass black holes. Regardless of what it is, the object is first a dark star remnant to be seen traveling in the galaxy alone, Lamb added. This measurement was particularly challenging due to the presence of brilliant, unrelated star that is incredibly angularly close to the source of the star. As a result, Sahu remarked, quote, It's like attempting to measure the minute movement of a firefly next to a brilliant light bulb. To accurately quantify the deflection of the faint source, we had to painstakingly remove the light from the nearby big star. End quote. According to Sahu's team, the isolated black hole is moving through the galaxy at a speed of 160,000 kilometers per hour, or 100,000 miles per hour. That is more rapid than the majority of the other nearby stars in this part of the galaxy. Astrometric microlensing is conceptually straightforward but extremely difficult to see, according to Sahu. The only method for detecting isolated black holes is microlensing. The starlight traveling towards Earth was intensified for 270 days whilst the black hole passed in front of a background star in the galactic bulge that was 19,000 light years away. However, it required several years of Hubble monitoring to track how the position of the background star appeared to be diverted by the foreground black hole's bending of light. Since the early 1970s, stellar mass black holes have been known to exist, but up until now, all mass determinations have been made in binary star systems. Black hole gas is cooked to such extreme temperatures that it produces X-rays after falling into the object. Through their gravitational pull on their companions, about two dozen black holes have had their masses determined in an X-ray binary. Five to twenty solar masses are estimated to be present. Gravitational waves from mergers of black holes and companion objects have revealed black holes with masses as high as 90 solar masses in neighboring galaxies. The discovery of lone black holes will reveal fresh information on the density of these objects in the Milky Way, according to Sahu. But the hunt is like looking for a needle in a haystack. The deflections will be monitored with extreme precision by NASA's planned Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, which will find thousands of microlensing events, many of which are anticipated to be black holes. And with that, we come to the end of today's video. Tell us your thoughts about this in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more interesting content. Check out other videos on our channel too, and we'll be back with more amazing videos very